Hey, what is up guys? Mrs. The Reverts here, and today the specialist editions for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 were just announced. So if you guys want to go see all the bonuses and little extra stuff, I'm gonna have a link to it down below in the description. Kind of upset though that the Pro Edition doesn't really contain anything too impressive. Like during Black Ops 3, they had pushed out the Juggernaut Fridge, which was pretty dang cool. Uh, for Black Ops 4, basically the items are a pop socket for your phone, uh, these three collectible art cards, and then 10 specialist patches. I'm gonna be honest, that does not really make me want to buy this package, honestly, but I guess those COD fans who are really into collecting, you know, the little items and that kind of stuff would really enjoy this. But anyways, guys, I want to talk about the new Black Ops Pass and the little description that Treyarch says about it, and I'm gonna read it off to you guys right now, and it says, The Black Ops Pass is included in the Digital Deluxe Edition, the Digital Deluxe Enhance Edition, and the Pro Edition, and represents a new approach to post-launch content for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 including a robust live season for the community. Instead of having four separate content drops, Black Ops 4 fans will experience a more frequent cadence to keep things fresh and deliver new maps and content more regularly throughout the year. And as of now, here's a list of what's to come in the Black Ops Pass. First off, we have a classified bonus zombie experience. But now if you take a look at the classified logo on screen for you guys, there is going to be a pentagon in the middle of the A. So for you zombies players, you might be getting five remastered or made for Black Ops 4. 5 was a really cool map and I really would not mind seeing it return. However, I feel that if you are going to be charging players more money for content, then I feel that content should at least be new. You know, something we have not yet seen before. I mean, like I said, I like the map 5, but uh, I feel that there should be something new, something fresh in uh, this Black Ops pass. But tell me how you guys feel about this down below in the comments. Next up here, there is also 4 additional all new zombie experiences, 12 multiplayer maps, and 4 exclusive blackout characters uh, but just for some clarification that classified zombies map is a day one bonus so if you do get the black ops pass you will have a total of four zombies maps to play on instead of just three so yeah for you zombies players that is a ton of zombies to be played uh, but for us multiplayer guys you may feel a little bit let down here because for one it does appear that new dlc maps are not going to be free like the rumors were all suggesting and i was really really hoping for free dlc because that would have been so super amazing not only for the players uh, but I feel for the game itself because free DLC would really keep players coming back and coming back for more so I am kind of sad to hear about this uh, but if you do happen to get the Black Ops Pass based off the description here it really does not seem like anything too special compared to the season pass we have received in the past really the only thing different here is that the maps and possibly some other stuff is going to get spread out more evenly throughout the year and also we are getting less additional multiplayer maps yeah you heard that right Normally we get a total of 4 map packs which contain 4 multiplayer maps in each which equals a total of 16 maps but the Black Ops Pass says we are getting 12 additional maps. Now World War 2 did have a, tw a map of bonus of 12 but they do give out one war map in every DLC so I guess we can kind of give them a pass uh, but yeah basically a lot of fans are upset about this. I too am kind of upset but then I realized that we already have like 9 multiplayer maps already revealed to us but then at the same time most of those maps are maps we have already played on so yeah I'm not too happy with the lack of content here plus we are getting charged for new maps when a lot of games right now such as Overwatch, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege they all give their fans free DLC maps, characters, add-ons and Treyarch should really look for a way to compete with these guys by two giving out free content and I don't know I'm just really upset right now you know Treyarch should really you know not be looking to take a step back and charging for more and even releasing less than what we usually have received in the past you know, Trey can still change this up though and maybe give out free guns or something like that. But I don't know, guys. Kind of let down here, but we shall see what happens. Uh, tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. I really want to know what you guys have to say about this because a lot of fans right now are really going crazy over on Reddit and Twitter about this. So I too want to know how you guys feel about this. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.